Hello YouTube! Would you like to know how to prove this formula by mathematical induction? If so, stay tuned. Okay, so we'll first uh, talk about the computation of this, right? Because this is a Mathematica tutorial and so we'll talk about the computation of this product. So I'll write, open a new cell and write product I'll put in some brackets and I'm going to take a product from i going from 2 to n. <clears throat> okay, and then let's enter 1 minus 1 over i squared. Okay, now I'll press shift enter. So this is the left hand side of of this formula. Shift enter. Okay, we get exactly this right hand side of the formula. That's not ideal when you're learning, but it's uh, built into Mathematica. Mathematica knows what this product is, it knows the formula for it. Okay, so rather than uh, computationally verify this, because that's a rather useless exercise. Instead, I'm going to show you how to think about mathematical induction uh, while you're on this computer system. Okay, so first of all, you want to show that the result holds true for the first number involved in the claim. All right, so in this case, this product starts with a 2. So this would be the product from 2 to 2. Okay, so let's just substitute in 2 and see what we get. Well, it says it's 3 quarters, right? Now you can do this by hand if you want, and you probably should do it by hand. All right, now let's uh, try to substitute in uh, n equals 2 into the right-hand side. So I'll uh, enter the formula, n plus 1 over 2 times n. And then I'll just write replace all. And I am replacing n with 2. Okay, now shift enter and see what we get. Well, 3 quarters. So that means the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Right, so we've proven this result holds true in the first case. That is for i, or sorry, for n equals 2. Right, so that's the first step in induction. Now the next step is to uh, write down an induction hypothesis. All right, so I'll write this in comment form, and I'll say uh, what it is: induction hypothesis. And in this case, we will say assume that. Uh, let's, I'll just write this in shorthand, so product from i equals 2 to, to k, 1 minus 1 over i squared. We're assuming that this is equal to k plus 1 divided by k. Right, so this is our induction hypothesis. And so the idea is that if we can show that this implies the statement for n equals k plus 1, then one domino can knock over the second domino in an analogy of dominoes knocking one another, one another over. Okay, so that means if, if the result holds true for 2, then it holds true for 3. If it holds true for 3, then it holds true for 4, and so on. All right, so in that way, you can apply the principle of mathematical induction to show that the statement is true for all positive integers, greater or equal to the first one, which in our case is 2. Okay, so we start by assuming the induction hypothesis. Write out what it should be. And now, what we want to do is show that the result holds for k plus 1. 
Okay, so down here we will say what we're going to do to this equation in order to get the statement for k plus 1. All right, so let's write in comment form what we're doing. Okay, so I'm going to multiply both sides by uh, the next term. All right, so this is a product, so that's why I'm multiplying. Okay, so the next term would be this, except for rather than i, I'll replace this with a k plus 1. Okay, so I'm going to multiply both sides of, the, of this induction hypothesis formula by this, where we have k plus 1 in the place of i. Okay, now I can go back to doing an actual calculation. So let's see, on the left-hand side, we will actually have the product. We'll have this product here, right? And I'll continue to put this in comment form because I don't want Mathematica to spit out the, the answer. All right, now on the left, I'm going to multiply by exactly this. Okay, so I'm multiplying that product by, by this. And I think there are one too many brackets, so we got rid of one. Okay, so now we multiply the same thing on the right, but we're multiplying this by this expression here on the right. Okay, this one here. All right, now, next, on the left, on the left, so this, this is actually the product from i equals 2 to k plus 1. All right, so the left-hand side is actually actually just this, but now we have k plus 1, All right, because we can take this and make it be part of the product. Okay, now what about the right-hand side? Well, the right-hand side is still this, but I've got highlighted, so I'll copy this and say equals this. All right, now what we have deduced is that this implies this. So I can write implies. Okay, now what I have to do is deal with the right-hand side. So basically simplify the right-hand side. Now I can use Mathematica to help me out in that process by copying this, going down below. I'll put it here. All right, now what would I like to do? And maybe I would like to expand. All right, expand see what I get. All right, so I get this. Now this looks nothing like this formula, right? What I'm aiming for is to get k plus 1 plus 1 in the numerator and 2 outside of k plus 1 in the denominator in order to prove this by induction. Okay, so this doesn't quite look what I want. So what if we try to factorize it? Let's try this. Factor it. Okay, now, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? Because it looks just about like what we're aiming to get. Okay, we have 2 outside of k plus 1 in the denominator. And notice that the numerator is actually k plus 1 plus another 1. Okay, so I can press enter now and say that this is... Okay, right-hand side is... k plus 1 plus 1, and I'll get rid of this plus 2, right, and I'll even emphasize that by putting a bracket around this. Um, I'll put a k plus 1 rather than 1 plus k. Okay, so what we've done here is shown that if the statement holds for k, then it holds for k plus 1. Now obviously you want to write this on paper, right, but uh, you can use Mathematica to help you with some of the calculations while you think about it and learn about it. Okay, however, if you're doing an exam, of course, you probably won't have Mathematica in front of you. So it's helpful to learn it in two ways, right? Do it by hand for sure and write out all of the necessary things. Okay, but I recommend that you state what you've just done. Okay, we have shown that if the statement holds for 
n equals k, comma, then it holds for n equals k plus 1, full stop. Okay, so that's important. Now, you can cite the, uh, the theorem of mathematical induction. So you must write this, right? Because if you don't, you'll probably lose marks on your exam. Okay, so what we say is by the principle of mathematical induction, the statement holds for all n in the integers where n is greater than 1, okay? So greater or equal to 2. Okay, but some people uh, just abbreviate this by saying PMI. Now that might be okay with your teacher, it might not be. You'll have to ask. Okay, so that's how to prove that by induction. I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and even ask questions if you need to. Thanks for watching. See you next time.